everybody and welcome back to my channel if you're new here don't forget to subscribe like comment and share and if you're a returning subscriber welcome back as always also don't forget to like comment and share so first of all if you're watching this and you're into tattoo content please subscribe to my channel there's definitely more to come so yeah it's tends to be quite spaced out but there is and always will be more tattoo content i have a lot of space left and i don't intend to stop until they're all full <laughs> anyway um i thought it'd be fun to give you guys a quick tattoo tour um because i currently i think i'm standing on like 15 i kind of have lost count but um i kind of want to go through them and just show you guys what they are and if they have meaning or not and just talk about that if you guys have any questions for me please leave them down below i will do a q a if there is enough questions otherwise i will just answer them in the comments so anyway let's get on to it so the first time i ever got a tattoo was in 2013 which is about nine years ago which is insane to me and the first tattoo i got was this one so it's a music note with my grandmother's name um and basically um my grandmother had passed away already and me and my cousin got matching tattoos um hers was a different type of music note but um Basically, they had the same meaning. My grandmother's name is Esme, and it means to love. And we are big lovers of music. So basically, the tattoo is in remembrance of her, but also with the meaning of to love music. So yeah, that's basically what that is. And yeah, we've both got her name on our arms, and it's very special to me. And it was my first one. And yes, I did go super big for my first tattoo. So yeah. And then after that, um, what was the next one that I got? I think the next one I got was this one on my back, which looks like that. It's a bow with three, it's a bow with three uh, swallows representing my mother, father and brother, but I don't really like it anymore. I did have this done by like a really dodgy guy um, and Marco did try and fix it, but it's just not like, I just don't like it, but we have some plans to try and work on it and see if we can turn it into something else. But yeah, that I've got on my back with the swallows representing my parents and my baby brother. So yeah, after that, I have to try and think like in what order I got them because I don't even remember. But after that, I think I got the one that's on my foot. To put a clip in of that. That one is a phoenix. That was my most painful tattoo and we've literally tried to fix it like three times, but I cannot handle the pain. So it still like looks somewhat unfinished because I just can't get myself to sit through getting that tattoo fixed. Um, but it's a phoenix which basically represents just always rising up again after you fall which is something that i'm very big on because you know we go and pick ourselves up constantly um after that i think i got this one which is just a crown because your girl is a princess um at first it basically represented like being my father's princess to me um but i think like in the most part it's just that i'm very dramatic and like to think that I'm a princess. <laughs> um, I just also thought it looked cool, to be honest. And I know it's a very common tattoo. I saw it freaking everywhere after I got it, but I really like it. I think it's it's so beautiful. I think even my cousin got something similar as well, but um, but I really love it. It's just a pretty, pretty princess crown. After that, I believe my first son was born and I got this arrow that basically says miles byron with his birth date um he was it's his first and second name and his birth date he was um 
born June 16th, 2017. And my best friend has the same arrow with her daughter's name and second name and birth date on. So we have that as matching tattoos. And then after that, I have to think. I think I got this one. So this is just like a diamond because diamonds are a girl's best friend. I thought it would look cool. I just really like the idea of having a finger tattoo. And yeah, why not? Why not flip people off in style? <laughs> so yeah, so then I got that one. And then I think after that, honestly, I could have my things all confused, but um, but I can't remember. After that, I think I got this one, which basically means grow through what you go through because we always gotta grow and everything that we've been through happens for a reason so we've just got to use it as lessons and grow through them so grow through what you go through yeah so that I got there and then I think after that I got this one which is basically the world map and it's basically an airplane flying from South Africa circling the world because it is my dream to travel everywhere <laughs> so yeah i i've definitely got bitten by the travel bug thanks to my in-laws and i hope to still travel a lot so um yeah i've got my world with my little airplane going around and then i'm just trying to make sure i didn't forget anything then i got my other finger tattoos i just want to take this ring off so i got all the others together this one i got on its own but the rest i got together so first i have this one which is the viking sign for create your own reality uh then i have this one which is the female version of a tattoo that marco has it's just a cross with a love heart i will put a clip in of what his looks like as well so we both have these on the same finger and then i've got the moon um because we'd be talking to the moon so i've got the moon over there and then over here i've got my taurus sign because i am a horoscope girl so we are taurus uh, it's the diamond and then over here is my element which is earth. I'm an earth element so I just have that on this finger we're pointing down to earth so yeah and then after that I got my other son who was born so I got his name um, and it's Orion Carlo with the stars because he was named after the stars and his birth date which was 28th of April 2020 um so he was named after the stars so that's why i have that miles was named after the a musician so i do want to still add music notes to this one i haven't yet but i do want to um so that's what they were named after basically so that's that and then i think that's it um i have one more which is on my thigh which i have posted a video about when i got it but i will put a clip in of that that is my absolute favorite tattoo so far and also my biggest one um so that is basically a girl with like a mask type thing on her face because it doesn't necessarily have a meaning but I think at the end of the day, we all wear different types of masks around different people and in different situations. And that basically just represents like having the power to like break through your mask and still be who you are in all situations. And it's just kind of a reminder of that to me um, because I do have a tendency to like um, kind of take on people's traits. So it was important to me to have something to symbolize like not doing that and just being myself always and that's kind of what that means to me. So yeah, I think that's basically it. That's all my tattoos that I currently have. Um, do I intend to get more? 110%. Um, my husband is a tattoo artist. I won't be stopping anytime soon. Um, um, but yeah, I still have a lot of plans uh, for tattoos so I definitely definitely would stay tuned to my channel if you're into that i will from this point forward seeing that you guys really enjoyed the last tattoo video i will be documenting every tattoo i get from now onwards so if you do like tattoo content stay tuned stay tuned it's gonna be so exciting um but like i said if you'll have any questions leave them down below i will like gladly do a q a no question is too personal so please go for it i will answer anything 
and yeah that's basically it for my tattoos i hope you guys really 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 enjoyed it and i will see you in my next video goodbye